Um, in this installment, we're going to have a look at scanning to email. Now, scanning to email is probably the simplest method for most people to use. Obviously, once a document's in PDF, it can be transmitted to people anywhere. Uh, it's easy to read and understand, and it is very simple to do. But there are some advantages of using a scanner with the Kodak Alaris Smart Touch over using, for example, a photocopier. And some of those items um, are when you scan something from a photocopier, the recipient receives an email with a subject, something along the lines of generic photocopier at floor2 at company.com. And they don't have any natural way of replying to that um, on there. And also you don't have a copy of that email in your sent items. So let's say you sent an important contract out on the 31st of March and you sent it from a copier and then you phone the person up and they said, we haven't received it. You would have no way of proving that. By utilising your own Outlook client, you can actually store the documents you've sent in your sent items so that you can refer back to them and you also have an audit trail of when that was actually sent. So sometimes it can actually be simpler and easier to use your own email client. And we're going to have a look at that with Smart Touch here and how to set that up. So again, we go into the Smart Touch client, we go to configure. And it also does ship with these preset up. So if we look here, we can see there is an email, black and white PDF, homework emails, items like that. But let's see how we set up from scratch. So we go for new and we'll call the text my email. Go into there. The application on in this case is going to be email. Uh, we want to send a PDF on there. Again, I don't want to name the file. Um, I want it to automatically come up with a prefix on there, so I'll call it Oxford. Um, delete file after sending we can do, I don't want to do any of the imaging settings. And again, I want to send it as a black and white perfect page document. Now, with doing this, it means that the scanner is making the best decisions as to what the contrast and gain setting should be of that particular document. So again, that's that very quickly and simply set up. Save those changes and now go to the scanner, press onto the screen, go down the list on the nice clear coloured touch screen, select my email, document scans, you can see the preview on screen and here it comes up, it's sending the email to here, it's now brought it up and I can choose who I want to send that to, so let me see if I want to send that to Owen on there, I can send that as a Test email. Here are the files that you need. And that has gone, and obviously I will have a copy in my sent items. Now, from an IT um, perspective, this needs no setting up whatsoever. There's no need to access proxies. There's no need to give out um, server addresses. There's no need to whitelist devices as there can be if they're on your internal network. You are simply sending an email from your own email client. And it is as quick and as simple as taking the scanner out of the box, loading the software, it's pre-set up and away you go. Thank you very much for listening.